Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to discuss about delete versus drop versus truncate command in a SQL. It is a very much important interview question also. So you should know the difference between the delete versus drop versus truncate because this all the three operations we use for the deletion purpose. So when to use a delete, when to use a drop, when to use a truncate, this actually you should know. So we are starting with the delete operation. So when we use a delete operation, when you want to when you want to delete delete any specific row any specific row specific row or complete data from a table from table then we use a delete command so when actually we use a delete suppose you, this is the table in this table suppose you want to delete this uh, null rows this particular row you want to delete where the location is coming null so in this case what actually we use we use a delete operation or suppose this is a complete table is given and from this complete table all the data you want to delete then also we use a delete operation so whenever your requirement is like to delete any specific row based on the certain condition then we use a delete operation so i hope you got the idea for taking example suppose i want to uh, delete where the id equal to the 4 how actually i can perform a delete operation it's very simple delete from table name my table name is empl what i will write where id equal to the 4 so if i write where id equal to the 4 so what actually it will do this id 4 row actually it will delete if i'll execute this you can see one row affected now if i'll show you the table so my table is select star from EMPL if I show you my table now you can see ID4 whatever it was available it got deleted so whenever your requirement is like to delete a specific row based on certain condition we use a delete command in a SQL or suppose if you are writing like this delete from EMPL and you are not passing any condition so if you are writing only delete from employee you are not passing any condition in this case what will happen it will delete all the row which is present in the table so you should be very cautious to perform this operation if you have to delete only the specific row then always pass a specific condition which you based on that we you want to delete that so delete is clear right now let's discuss about the truncate so truncate we use we use whenever we have to we have to delete complete data from table so if your requirement is like you want to delete complete data from this table then what actually we use we use a truncate operation so truncate when we use suppose this is the table you have created when you will perform a truncate operation whatever the rows will be there is all the rows will be uh, deleted so that is the use of the truncate so if i'll perform truncate what you have to write truncate table and the table name so truncate table and which table you want to truncate empl so if i use truncate table and empl and if i will execute this you can see command completed successfully now if i show you this table you can see all the rows got deleted only we have id name salary location and department means only the structure of the table is available but all the data got deleted so when we use a delete operation whenever based on the specific condition you want to delete a data you go for the delete operation truncate operation whenever you want to delete complete data from the table then you go for the truncate operation and when to use a drop drop command whenever you will use a drop command in this case you are all the data as well as the table will be deleted you can see as of now this table is still available right if i use this select star from employee still data is not available because we have performed a truncate operation but still the structure is available like id name salary location and department but when you will use a drop operation the data as well as the, this table also will be deleted so that is the drop so what actually i will use i will insert some rows and then i'll perform a, a drop operation so i inserted some rows now if i'll show you select star from employee table as of now all the data as well as the table is all the data is available in the table now i am performing a drop operation so what you have to write drop table and the empl if i will write this 
if I will execute this, you can see command completed successfully. Now if I will show you select star from EMPL, you can see invalid object name EMPL because this whole table got deleted. Now we don't have any data as well as the table also that table itself got deleted. So when to use a delete operation whenever you have to delete a specific row based on the certain condition you go for the delete operation when to use a truncate whenever you want to delete all the data from a table then you go for the truncate operation when to use a drop operation whenever you will perform a drop operation your schema means table structure and the data both will be deleted means your table itself will get deleted so in that case we use a drop operation so i hope you got the idea